Hey everybody, so I've been getting into spoon carving a little bit more recently and one of the biggest hassles I have is actually keeping my hook knives all nice and sharp. Um, since I have some of varying different shapes and sizes, sometimes it takes a little bit more um, finesse in order to keep them honed. Before when I was just starting, I was just using regular leather strop and in order to do that, you kind of have to keep, um, you have to kind of rotate the, the edge on one flat surface. And this can take a long time when you're going in, uh, stropping it in, because you're, you're, you're only able to work on a very small section of, of the actual blade that's uh, cutting. So one of the things I found was this one from Beavercraft, which it has a nice curved little edge right there so you can have a much larger surface where your blade is making contact with the leather strop and honing the the tool this is great since i do all my stuff primarily by hand and it, it makes it much faster and much easier you can use a regular strop um, this is one of another one beavercraft strops um, you can use the regular flat ones if that's what you have you're going to be perfectly fine just note it might take a little bit longer but if you do have the availability to get one they're their hook carving or hook knife um, stropping tools, I would pick that up. It's actually quite nice um, and it does make the whole job a lot easier. Now you can use like a regular uh, leather shop and you can, if you want, just like curve it in your hands, like put the compound in there and curve it in your hands and strop it like, like that. Um, that will work perfectly fine. Uh, you can, that way you just have a regular piece, leather shop that you can have loose and you can kind of conform it to whatever size you want. Uh, so like I have a whole bunch of different uh, hook knives, some from OCC. Most of them are honestly from Beavercraft because I like the, the affordability and even like the premium ones are actually pretty dang nice. They, they carve pretty well. Now some of you might have the super basic uh, cheap ones like the ones you get online for I don't know like five to ten dollars each. Um, the edges on these are not great. Uh, out of the box like here, maybe I can get that one in there you can see there's like a chip right out of the right there um, this came like that brand spanking new uh, this one the the tip is a little bit it's less than ideal get to focus right there but yeah it's just like there's glinting on the edges and whatnot they're not always great and for that a leather strop won't do exactly what you need you might need a stone or in this case the Beavercraft one has the ability to put different types of sandpaper on here and pin it down. So in, in this case, I can actually go and use the sandpaper on here and that curved edge to go ahead and uh, sharpen this up and refine that edge a little bit more. Now you see it has a curved edge on these sides right here. This is primarily to help smooth out the inside of the hook. Uh, you, I personally find you don't need to do that. Um, most of the most of the time, if I do that, I, it's because I see a, a roll forming. But for the most part, I rarely do it. It's not necessary. Um, you're, the only edge you're going to really want to focus on, especially in honing, is just the outside edge. But that's that's my personal experience. But yeah. So basically, when you're sharp, when you're honing your your hook knives, all you really need to do is just take your hook knife, align the edge to that the the surface so it's nice and flat, and then just push it along. You don't need to apply a lot of force. Just, it'll do it on its own. Um, I like to rotate mine around while I'm doing it. N like I said, again, the curved surface allows it to strop more area at once and makes the whole process a little bit faster. Now, if you have something like this one where it is a curved edge, you know, notice you can't really, it's not going to sit perfectly fat, flat on that edge. There's going to be a gap underneath it. But what I like to do is actually rotate it to the point where the actual edge is completely flat on that curvature and then I'll push it forward. That way I am actually stropping a large surface at the same time and I don't have to worry about getting a whole new uh, strop shape. Now like I said you can use these guys and just use your hand and just do as such. So you can do that as well. Um, Personally, if you have the ability to get a decent hook knife to begin with, the cheaper ones that you get like on Amazon and whatnot, they're too cheap. Uh, you will have to put work into them. And if you are going to get one of the super cheap ones, 
I highly recommend you just get the Beavercraft one to um, primarily because you're going to need to actually refine that edge a little bit more. But if you're doing regular, uh, if you have a regular hook knife and you don't want to get like any sort of the, the power tools or anything like that, you can just get a regular loose leather strop with a compound on it or even still the Beavercraft one um, for putting the strop and compound on there. And that's essentially all I do. There's not, not much to it on my end. Like I said, I very rarely use the inside curved edge. All my work is done on the outside. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.